Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bianca Estelle. If this is your first time here, welcome. So guys, we're gonna be getting into our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. If you don't have this bag, it is $28 per month. You do get five full-size items in this bag. You get to choose three of the items that you get in this bag. The value of the bag is supposed to be $120 or more, and you do get a customized drawstring bag for the month. This is what it look like, this little beauty right here. So guys, um, if you don't have this, and you want to see what I got, stay tuned. But you know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure that your uh, notification bell is on. And take a moment and go and follow me on Instagram at b.estelle underscore 216, you guys. So let's dive into this bad boy. Yes, I have makeup on. <laughs> This is from the NC Ipsy Glam bag for October 21. So if you wanna see what all oh, this is on my face, go check out that video. I just didn't feel like taking it off. Let's do this. So guys, um, if you haven't noticed, I would say for maybe, I don't want to say a year now, but I know it's been quite some time for the MC Glam Bag. Plus, we do not get an informational card on the actual products. I have to go to my phone and get that information for you. But the theme for October is pretty wicked. And it says, fangs out lipstick on this month. Embrace the unconventional vampy lips, rich shadows, pitch black manis, and you might just vamp some more, okay? So what they do, I've been seeing in here, they've been putting more like information about beauty in their card. So I guess this one is more like about DYI three easy makeup looks. So if you wanna take a moment to look at that, I'm going to leave that up there for you. If you wanna pause the video, you know, increase it so you can see what the hell it says. That's up to you. Um, next month, we look forward to our Glam Bag X box. Let me know how you guys feel about that. But we're going to get into the first item right now. I have from Dermalect. This is their self-esteem beauty sleep serum. It retails for $42. It is 30 ml. Like I said, this is full size. It is a serum. And it says what it does. This face and neck serum uses a blend of firming amino acids, of um, exfoliating acids, and antioxidant rich vitamin C to dramatically help smooth and brighten your skin while you sleep. How to use apply a few drops. Uh, to a clean face, neck, chest above, I'm sorry, before bed, then follow with a moisturizer. It is vegan and cruelty free. Um, let's see what people have said this, about this before we uh, get into it. Um, it says this product broke my face out really bad. I now have some serums. I now know serums are not for me, excuse me. Someone said, by morning, my face looked really refreshed. I don't remember what else it's supposed to do, but I'll continue continue to wear it at night. Um, someone else said, I received this serum in the past. I don't think it's from Ipsy, though. I like it. The smell reminds me of a product I used in high school, but I can't remember the name. Okay, someone negative. It says, smells... Uh, God awful. I'll keep using it to see if I get results. <laughs> okay. Um, someone else says, smells like alcohol. I don't want to smell like I came from the bar. <laughs> okay. Someone else says, I love serums, but this one has a maple syrup smell that reminds me of urine. Not for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um... I kind of like now putting the reviews of products in here. Someone said maple syrup. It doesn't look it doesn't look runny like maple syrup, but this is what it looks like outside of the bag. 
Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm probably not going to use this, but for the purpose of this video, that smells like a shot of whiskey, baby. Yeah, I see why people don't like it. Um, I also will not be sending this to anybody either. I probably end up throwing away just because the alcohol smell. If I don't like that, I don't think any of you guys will like the smell of that. Um, whew, woo, yeah. I don't know what's in that. If you like it, I mean, I guess you like it. If you don't, you don't. Um, it does dry down pretty easily. Um, it actually dries down pretty fast. You can barely even see anything on my hand right here. But yeah, guys. Um, that was strong. That was really strong. I mean, it smells like a shot of Nam whiskey, y'all. Nothing more to it. Let's get into the next item. The next item I have is from 111 Skin. It is the Nocturnal Eclipse Recovery Cream. It retails for 280 freaking dollars, yo. 50 mls full size as reported it is a moisturizer and it says what it does and it says boy does this baby have benefits this super rich concentrated concentrated cream nourishes skin while helping it recover from environmental aggressors it's packed with uh phospholipids and hydro sorry hyaluronic acid to help lock in moisture and plump up skin along with Nancy 2 technology, don't know what that is, you guys, uh, which helps promote the production of collagen and elastin. Uh, how to use, massage a pea size into the skin after your serum, okay? Uh, more reasons, you'll love it. And it says, if your skin is dry, damaged, or dehydrated, this formula will get will give you the help that it needs and uh, uh, it will instantly refresh your, refresh your skin. God, I can't speak today. Um, so yeah, I think I actually had a sample of this that I gave away to you guys just because I'm getting so much skincare. Some of you guys, some of you guys on my channel really do love skincare. So why not share the love? Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm not going to open it because you guys know how skincare is and it's a moisturizer. If you've used it before, let fill us in, sis. Fill us in. Is it a yay? Is it a nay? Um, let's look at a couple reviews on this product before we go on to the next one. Um, someone said, rich cream packed with vitamins. I love this cream. One person said, I wanted to love this, but I just can't get past the smell. Literally smells like urine soaked clothing. Okay. Um... Oh my God, this stuff is heavenly. My skin feels amazing the next morning. It's hit and miss. Um, love any 111 Skin product. This is lovely. I do love 111 Skin. There have been a couple items that I don't care for. One is the rose scented line that they have. They can keep that. Y'all know I do not like the scent of rose. I was into it when I first got a first couple products, but then after a while, I was like, y'all went crazy with the rose. This stuff is like, gives me a headache. It just gives me a headache, really. That's why I really don't like it. Um, most people are complaining about the scent. Um, <laughs> so yeah, everybody says they love how it looks you know, in the morning, but you might smell like a, smell like a homeless man pissed on you. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm not making this stuff up, guys. Okay, let's move on to our next product. This is from Hip Dot. This is the Witchy Warms Palette. And it has a value of $22. It is full size. It's an eyeshadow palette. Uh, what it does, and it says each of the nine matte shimmer and foil shades um, from deep burgundies to 
burnt browns are soft, smooth, and easy to blend so you can create an array of fall inspired eye looks. And it says how to use. Use your fingers or a clean eyeshadow brush to apply to the lids. Reason to love it. It's vegan and cruelty free, made without uh, phthalates, parabens, and talic. Okay, let's take a look at them. You know what I will really start liking to see is uh, when companies come out with eyeshadow palettes, just like easy ways to use their eyeshadow. I mean, I don't know. Is that too much to ask? So it comes out of a slip package here. I do like the outside packaging of this. I think this is very cute. This is a neutral woman's dream, I'd have to say. My mom would probably just be like, ooh, give me that. Um, so yeah, this is actually nice packaging. So it does have a mirror in here, a little lovely mirror. Um, and then this is what all the colors look like. This reminds me of a Huda Beauty palette. Uh, I know she just came out with a whole bunch of like, I think it's the browns, the chocolates, something like that. That's what this reminds me of. This almost reminds me of Cheetah. I think it's Cheetah. I think it's called Cheetah. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. But there, I mean, it kind of looks like almost all the palettes she came out with that warm one she just dropped not too long ago. I think it was sometime this year. So that's what it looks like. Let me get a little closer. I like those imprints on the actual um eyeshadows it's really cute does it smell no it smells like <laughs> it smells like makeup okay so guys let's see i think we've got two more items to get into so let's do this this beauty right here is from tokyo milk it is their french kiss perfume and the retail value is 38 dollars it is one fluid ounce, full size, of course. Um, it's a fragrance. <laughs> what it does, and it says notes of spicy uh, mandarin, floral, tuberose, and gardenia. And earthly uh, vitter come together to create a scent that equals parts fresh, romantic, and feminine. How do you spritz on the pulses throughout the day? day it is vegan and cruelty free let's see these comments <laughs> these comments are really killing me uh someone said wow absolutely love this no doubt it's just risky buying an online fragrance but this surpasses every expectation couldn't be happier and found my new to go thanks ipsy um one person said, very strong, great on day, great on third day, um, one spray only needed. My husband loves this scent and it lasts long, love it. Um, did not like the scent at all, but keep packaging. It is cute, it is cute, it's aesthetically pleasing, very clean, clean beauty. Oh, that's cute. You can see the little Eiffel Tower through the back. Isn't that cute? Okay, what else? Smells great. Nice woodsy smell. Um, this smell is not the smell for me. Very strong, overpowering scent. That kind of scares me. Let me get my coffee beans out right quick. All right, I think we're ready. Why am I shaking this up? All right, here we go. I think that was good enough. Mm. I smell something. They right when they say you don't need much of this. Let's go for a scent, y'all. I smell something. I smell something woodsy, but we'll see.
it is strong. Um, that is not what I expected from French Kiss. So I think it's the, like I said, floral scents kind of trigger me. So I'm not going to be keeping that. I'm going to be giving that to a friend. So. Hmm. <clears throat> On to the next item. I think it's our last item. So let's take a look at her. This is our last item. And this is from Vizial. And this is their Pellet Pro or Pel or their Pro number one. Um, it retails for $30. It's this is considered full size. Yes, $30, $30, full size, okay? Um, product, of course, it's the eyeshadow palette, you guys. I'm just reading from my phone. And it says what it does. It says this compact palette, um, it's the perfect size to throw into your makeup bag, pack some serious punch, uh, complete with eight super pigmented and blendable shades in matte, satin, and shimmer finishes. Uh, it's it's got everything you need to channel your inner makeup artist. How to use. Apply it with your preferred makeup brush or applicator. Cruelty free, aka never test no animals. Okay, let's see. Um, someone's negative. This is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. The shades are great. Of course, they're neutrals. Hard to mess up. But the pan size of the palette is generally uh, super small. Um, a neg another negative. This is so small, it feels like it's not a full-size item. <laughs> uh, someone else said, these eyeshadow colors are similar to some of the Charlotte Tilbury offering, achieves the same look at a much lower price. Um, okay, I don't own any Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette, so... Let me know if that's true. Someone said, I thought Viziar would be better quality. The shadows are cloudy and didn't blend super well. I might need to play around with this to figure out, uh, to figure it out. But my impressions are that this mini palette isn't user friendly. All right, let's find some palettes, some, some good ones here. My second Viziar Palette Pro, and I love this one even more than the first. It's so good. The, no, that's the same one. Okay. Ah, woo. Beautiful palette for the fall. Let's get a real one. Viziar and Natasha Denona are my HG palette designers. I was so excited to get this Petite Pro palette. The shadows blend like a dream, are, are quality, consistent, and vibrant. I will continue to purchase them for life. Thank you, Ipsy. Um, someone said I had to add this. Had to add, I had to add on this palette because the colors were perfect. I uh, wish it was a little bit bigger, but very happy. Love this brand. I was a little disappointed with the shades on my skin tone, but it's okay. So, let's take a look. And I think this is my third one. So those are the colors. Pretty neutral. Um, they are really nice little eyeshadows. I, I think I, in particular, when we, not when we start traveling, because we've been traveling, but as we start traveling more, this is kind of the route I'm going to start going is minis. So... I'll probably have to do a video on like what I pack for traveling so then you guys can see how I pack my minis. Okay. Okay. So guys, let's get into the um final thoughts. Okay, guys, let's talk about the final thoughts of our Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for October of 2021. Um, the value of this bag is supposed to be promised at $120 or more. My bag was $412, so definitely exceeding that <laughs> promise, okay? 
But the final thing we need to talk about is the personal diet of the bag. Do you see any of these items being something that you're going to use um, as time goes by? A week from now, days from now, months from now, a year from now, have they introduced you to anything new or things that you actually are interested in? That is the ultimate question. So for me, I love that I got this Viziar palette, like I said. This is the third palette I have gotten from them. I have one, two, and three now. And I love these because I just, like I said, they look like they'd be beautiful just for travel. And I'm with that. I don't care about the small pan. That's fine with me. Um, also, I really do like this Hip Dot palette. I'm loving these little Hip Dot like nine pan palettes in uh, that they've been sending us lately. And they're... Um, and the subscriptions. I think these are all very good colors for the fall time too. So they did select some good palettes for the fall time. Loving these colors. If any of you guys have tried this Hip Dot palette or the Viseart palette, definitely let me know. What else did we get? So that was one, two product. I gotta keep track of what else we got. Wait, am I missing something? Oh, I said to the side. Um, this Tokyo Milk, baby, this is too damn strong for me. Um, definitely will give this to somebody who likes strong floral scents, but that's not me. So it's a thumbs down on this one product. Um, uh, also just to me, suspicious reviews on this, uh, Dermalect Self-Esteem Beauty Serum. Girl, I smell like whiskey. I understand what they're talking about now. I'm probably going to give this away to one of you lovelies because, like I said, I have plenty of uh, concentrated um, skin creams that more than I can deal with. So, not a bad bag, but not the best, okay? Um, I love that they put some makeup in here. They had two skincare items. I don't like when they put multiple skincare items even if one is a serum and one is a uh, moisturizer. Um, overall, if I was new, I would say this was a pretty good bag. It's not a horrible bag. Um, it's just sometimes when it comes to the perfume, you gotta be a little careful. Also, not a fan of the multiple skincare products, but um, I'm not running this. They could put five eyeshadow palettes in this dang bag and I would be absolutely happy with it. So with that said, you guys, let me know what you guys thought about this bag. Let me know what you got in your bag. Make sure that you guys uh, liked and commented on the video. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Go ahead. It's free, baby. And uh, make sure your notification bell is on so you always know when I upload new videos, guys. And check me out on Instagram. And I will see you in the next one. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye.